Hello everyone, my name is Xu Chen and I'm currently taking WRI 150 course at section 58. Today I'm going to talk about my project 4, which I transfer the delivery mode in my project 2. And in my second project of my WRI course, we are asked to choose a cultural artifact and talk about the cultural art implication of this artifact. And since the time when I worked on my project too was the Chinese Spring Festival time. Was the Chinese Spring Festival. So I choose one of the most representative Chinese artifacts during the Spring Festival. That is the Spring Festival couplet and you might have seen them in many places like the entry of the Chinese restaurant and you can see them if you have Chinese neighbors you can see them during the Spring Festival time well so as we know on January 1st of every lunar year Chinese people celebrate their spring festival um, with their family and it should be a happy time for them but um, for me as a student studying abroad well it is impossible for me to enjoy this vacation because there is no vacation in spring festival in the US but Thanks to the technology, it is possible for me to enjoy the Spring Festival in my own ways. The Lunar New Year's Eve this year was on Sunday, so I was able to watch Spring Festival Gala on YouTube with my Chinese roommate. And this time, a magic show in the Spring Festival Gala really impressed me. Let's take a look. As you can see, this magician control a writing brush without directly touch. And by the way, this was the beginning of my primary research. Well, this word he wrote in Chinese means home or family. Of course, when I saw this word, I remind me of my family. When I was a little boy, I always looked forward to seeing my grandpa writing Spring Festival copies with writing brush. And words he wrote is really beautiful by his um, excellent calligraphy skills. Every year, my grandpa will write our our own Spring Festival couplets. It's not like this printed one. Well, this is a printed one, but but my grandpa wrote his own. But unfortunately, I didn't inherit my grandpa's calligraphy skill um, because he had gone three years ago. So every time I saw the Spring Festival couplets, I, it will remind me of my grandpa. And I would like to introduce this artifact to you. And very long times ago, Chinese people put this stuff on the wall to against evil that time. But now, we are no longer to do that. Instead, um, people express their wish by different poems wrote on the copters and use them for decoration. Well, according to Encyclopedia of China, the Spring Festival couplets are written on a vertical pair of scrolls 
containing a two and a half sentence poem. Each sentence on couplets has an equal number of words, and words in the two lines should adhere to the tonal patterns. It is um, a little bit hard to understand, but I have to do a further research that there is a professor in the Hong Kong University developed a research that with his saying, the Spring Festival Couplets has a structural constraint by a statistical research. And as you can see here, it's very complicated by this formula. And with that statistical model, even people are not able to read Chinese, they are able to understand the rhyme on the Spring Festival couplets. And furthermore, in the beginning of February, my roommate and I decided to buy a pair of Spring Festival couplets and put on the wall around the door. But however, the Chinese market near campus um, didn't have the carpet for sale, so we have to buy it on Amazon. But after two days waiting, uh, we received the wrong carpet because, um, as you know, the carpet should be two different sentences. But Amazon sent us the carpet that it has two same sentences. So I, so I returned the wrong item to Amazon and bought a new one um, and pasted them on the wall of my dorm. Like that. These are our couplets and this is the 11th floor of Harbor Hall. After we paste our couplets on the wall, our American neighbors are very curious about this friend swirls and they ask what's that and when they first saw this couplet and if I noticed anyone was asking I would explain the cultural implication and the meaning of my couplet and some of my neighbors were fully attracted by this artifact and asked me to teach them how to write Chinese characters and read the copters like that. And because of my proposal of my project too, I was going to talk about the importance of Spring Festival for Chinese people overseas. So I did two interviews for my Chinese neighbors when they first saw this Spring Festival copters in my door. And here is the interview video. 可能看到春联第一个是挺想家人的吧因为我爸会写书法所以说每年春节的时候我爸都会自己写春联然后我们一家人一起贴然后第二个事情是挺想跟家里人一起过春节的吧因为过春节的时候都是和家里人团聚的节日但是自从
we can see there is a very uh, beautiful firework during the spring festival. During this time, many um, American New York citizens come to see this ceremony. So, as you can see, I have showed my primary and secondary research um, in the previous video. Well, now I would like to read my conclusion in my Project 2 essay. Nowadays, with the economy growing rapidly, there is an increasing number of Chinese who are able to study or live abroad. As an overseas person and a student studying abroad, every time I celebrate traditional festivals, I am cherishing the memory of my homeland. With the significant influence of Chinese culture, not only Chinese people overseas, but also domestic residents begin celebrating traditional Chinese festivals. These celebrations make people who don't interact in the daily life be united as one, no matter they are honorable or ordinary, wealthy or poor. Through this way, a nation is united, which may be the most important meaning for this festival. So this is everything of my project 4 and my project 2. If you can learn something or understand something after seeing my video, I will be more than happy. Finally, thank you for seeing my video.